October 13, 1972, Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571 took off from Montevideo, Uruguay with 45 people on board, including 19 members of the Old Christians Club rugby team. Their destination, Santiago, Chile, was never reached. An inexperienced pilot mistakenly believed they'd overflown Curico, the turning point past the Andes Mountains, to fly north and began descending toward what he thought was Santiago's airport. The aircraft struck a mountain ridge, shearing off both wings and the tail section. The remaining portion of the fuselage slid down a glacier at 220 miles per hour, descending 2,400 feet before ramming into an ice mound. Three crew members and nine passengers died immediately, and several more died due to the frigid temperatures and severe injuries. The crash site elevation was 11,710 feet, and search operations were called off after eight days. During the 72 days following the crash, the survivors suffered from the extreme hardships of exposure, elevation, starvation, and avalanches, which led to the deaths of 13 more passengers. They had to feed off their friends to survive. Miraculously, two survivors climbed the 15,000-foot mountain peak without any mountaineering gear, hiking for 10 days into Chile, traveling 38 miles before finding help on December 23, 1972. Only 14 survivors were rescued. The determination of the human spirit can overcome seemingly impossible odds. When it seems like there's no hope, keep pressing on. Thank <music> you.